Hey guys, I'm Jerusha and you're watching Jerusha Couture TV. I'm here today with a Louis Vuitton unboxing and an update on handbags that have gone, not what I've sold and why, handbags that have gone from my last, let's say my last four unboxings that were handbags that you can't see. Let's explain what's happened and where they have gone. I've had a lot of questions like, oh my gosh, how are you liking your armor, BB? Like, where is it? What's going on? Like, you haven't talked about it much. Let me explain. So I'm just trying to work out what, sh what we should do first. I'm thinking we should unbox because a lot of you will be like, just do the unboxing, right? So this, this is fun. It's kind of like major deja vu. Here, here is the shopper that came with this online purchase and here is a proof of purchase our box and ribbon i do know that for all of y'all up in the us they don't have it at the moment there's low stock or something obviously you can imagine that they probably have run out and aren't able to get extra from their factories or whatnot this was an online purchase Again, I'm sure that probably gives it away. Here is the box. It's probably far too big of a box for the item. But this is much better, much better, a far better outfit to unbox this bag with on than the first time I unboxed it in a very not vibe outfit. Here is the dust bag it comes in and this is the very now sought after it's come back around it was super sought after when they first released the Louis Vuitton bum bag in the canvas then I got my hands on it I kept it for a week I was like I can't vibe with it it's not my vibe I'm not that chill I'm not that relaxed I maybe I need more size like it's not a good size you know I was really rocking the mini palm springs at the time and I thought this was smaller than that just the more and more I saw it I was like actually maybe it would be a really easy going kind of throw on bag you know I have two small children I have two little babies to be hands free it might really really work so here it is the Louis Vuitton bum bag another worry that I had was this bag has a lot of raw cowhide leather a lot of vachette and if you follow my channel lately I have sort of strayed from the raw cowhide because I just I don't like it looking old really quickly however in this circumstance it's going to take a while for it to you know get to the standard of my speedy B, which has been a long time uh, so I thought I would give it a try again it came up on the website which is really like rare if you see it add to cart add it to cart um if you want it because it's one of those items that just come in on and off the website and you can stalk them but this is it i did show you my first unboxing so full monogram it does also it is also offered in um on um, the full leather it's a smaller size that actual bum bag it's got the strap here which you know obviously you can wear around your waist i've actually not seen it properly um, styled around the waist. It's mostly cross body that people sort of wear it. So it can really extend long. You've got your buckle there with your adjustments. It is not detachable. It's on the um, rings on the side there. One uh, vachette tab here, which says Louis Vuitton Paris. It's got the little D ring here at the bottom, which apparently is a scarf holder like the Palm Springs, which I don't know why you do that. But a lot of people, attach their extenders on there or extra chains there's many chains being made underneath this lip like the palm springs is the zipper and i have watched a few reviews where they're like lift it up lift it up to open and close it it's far easier which it is when it's down it is similar to the palm springs where it just kind of rubs on it and gets in the way uh, but once it's open it's such a smooth zipper beautiful uh, 180 zipper pulls they move all the way around mine have still got the sticker on them because it is obviously fresh fresh new which is nice this is the interior no pockets it's just one compartment it's got the cotton drill lining which you can see in there which I like there is a textile card and it says Louis Vuitton Paris made in France stamped on the back I will fill it up and show you what it holds and I'll throw in some mod shots 
but that is the way you get into it whether or not that's a bit fussy I think I remembered when I first got it I was like this is just going to be so fussy to get in and out of like how do you do it but I think if it's across you that's cute and you can access it I don't know it has the top handle which is really nice to be able to pick it up uh, easily and this is the same top handle it says Louis Vuitton Paris as the Pochette Matisse and I really like that it's really really nice and then the cool feature is that there is a zipper compartment on the back that would be against your body and this is a really generous sized pocket that you can this is my iPhone plus you can just fit that in like so perfect no problem so that's easy access which is really nice there we go that's kind of the detail going over the details of it it's beautiful buttery canvas which I love uh, so yeah let's put a few things on it I will do a few mod shots throw them in here while I'm showing you as well as I do so we just undo it like so so there is my wallet at the moment I do have my round portemonnaie with lots of coins in it four key holder which I can't change out of because I love it so much my catch-all at the moment is my uh, PM cosmetic case I will just show you it does go in uh, but obviously takes up, hang on one second, takes up, as you can see, but obviously takes up the whole space mostly. I can fit, oh, that's pretty good. Actually, that's pretty good. So if I didn't want to change out of what was in this bag, here is my mask at the moment. This is from Cotton On. So cute, little tie-dye mask. So that's in there and my sunglasses, which are the Louis Vuitton I Feel Pretties. It's gonna reflect, but I can't help it because they're mage. And do we like it? So cute. I could throw in one of my hand sanitizers. That's nice. And I could put my sunnies on top like so, wow. <laughs> Wow, so that is everything that I would get in the Palm Springs, in my Palm Springs Mini if I was using that. I'm currently using my Palace, so that's everything in there. And then, <laughs> wow, and then I could put my phone, which I said was an um, iPhone Plus, in the back. Like so, wow, wow. That's really heavy though, but oh my gosh, I cannot believe all that is in there. That's nuts. So to get in and out of it, you see you're sort of holding it by the top handle like so. I think it would be okay. Listen, you don't need, you know, you don't need your cosmetic. See, you would be able to pull it all out. You don't need your cosmetic um, case. Mini pochette would be perfect in there. I can add my mini pochette and that's fine. So I am really still blown away with how much it actually can hold. I, I did remember that from before that it, you know, just packs and packs and packs. Okay, so that is my unboxing. What do we think back in my life? Well, not really back in my life because I unboxed it the first time, kept it a week and was just kind of like, I, I can't get into it. I can't get into a bum bag. Backpacks are back, but I don't know about bum bag. Now, I'm just like, yeah, it's a hot ticket item. It came up on the site and I was just like, it's hot. Let's give it a try again. Let's see how we go. Maybe I'll Apple Guard it. If you're Australian and you collect and you have Apple Guard, can you let me know in the comments below where you get it? Maybe get it off Amazon. I do know that it's stocked, readily stocked on Amazon, but for us, I think we just have to buy it in. Uh, from America. I don't think we actually have stockers here in Australia. Let's go over what I have unboxed like exactly like this. I've done an unboxing and returned to and one, I actually had a subby Louise, hi Louise in the UK, purchase it off me. So those bags were the firstly asked so much about is the Alma BB in Damieri bin. I will throw my pictures in here so you know. I unboxed that bag. Why did I turn around and sell it to my subby? Well, she, firstly, she emailed me straight away like, what do I think? How am I liking it? She's been on the hunt for it for Ever, and just not in an area where she can look at it and see it. What did I think? Was I prepared to part with it for what I paid for it? And I was like, sure, I am prepared to because I'm looking at probably returning it. I was not happy 
with the coated leather. I don't know if they've changed it from when I had Demiri bin bags. It was shiny coated leather, okay? It was shiny. Like this, kind of. Are those handles coming up shiny? Yeah, like shiny. And when, if you saw my reaction when I unboxed it, it was straight matte, like rubbery matte. Like it felt like rubber. And just, I don't know, I, I was really, really underwhelmed. I think it showed in the unboxing, I was just a bit like, oh, why is it not the regular shiny Damieri bin coated leather? the contrast with the canvas. I, I was really underwhelmed. So her email came at the right time and I was just kind of like, well, you know what? I've been questioning it. She was like, I take it like straight away. Um, and listen, you know what I'm like with my items. If somebody is like, oh my God, where did I can't find it. I can't get it. And I know what that hunt is like. So I'm always just like, yes, I really want to help you out. So that was the Alma BB. The Neo Noe. You also saw my reaction in that unboxing, guys. It was sitting here like this, completely dented in. You saw that. I was, I was, I, and I was honest. I was like, does this look wonky to you? Anyway, I told my SAMR, I was like, look, it's not sitting right. Like, it is not sitting right. It doesn't look perfect. It didn't come out of the box right either like it like i didn't use it obviously you saw me unbox it straight away so the neo noe returned she was like return it right back the reason i haven't turned around and purchased it again is because the caramel has been sold out i think it might have been back online once and i went to add to shopping cart and it actually said no this is not available sometimes that can happen on louis vuitton fyi you add to shopping cart and then when you go to check out it's like this item is no longer available. It is the worst. It's like, what do they say? The shortest horror story in life sold out. So that's the Neo No Way. It is such a beautiful bag. I have my organizers from Smallga. I would definitely look at getting it back. Definitely. I have so much going on right now. I mean, honestly, so much. I did a bag collection and then just like 10 bags came after it. It was crazy. Behind me, you will see that the GM on the go, I'm just, this is outside of unboxing it recently, but the GM on the go has in fact sold. Hi, Dahlia, Dahlia. Yes, she couldn't get it in her area. She reached out to me. She's like, it's been sitting there. What do you think? I had used it twice. That was it. And I, it was brand new. So that went off to a sobby. <laughs> I just, it, it's just money sitting there really, you know, and if I'm not using it, why not go to a good home? Lastly, is this last? Lastly, recently, what got returned from unboxings was my Palm Springs PM. Listen, I unboxed that early on and I turned around and returned it straight away. There was no way I was keeping that bag. It came, it was so bad how it came. If I have that picture again, I'll throw it in here. It was so bad, like embarrassing for Louis Vuitton. It was totally smashed up. It was just it like, it was so uncared for. I unboxed it, it looked terrible in the video. And of course it was getting returned. There was no way, you should never feel like, oh, I don't wanna return stuff, you know, returning so bad. No, it's not. Not if it's wrecked or not in good condition or not what you wanted. Like my Neo No Way was really twisted. Emma was like, send it back. And that Palm Springs pair, I'm sorry, that was just, I wanted to get it again. And then they price increased in between, in between my last unboxing, they price increased. And then I just, it's a hard pill to swallow, nearly $4,000 for that backpack. And I'm just kind of like, I have the mini, maybe I'll give my mini another chance. But that was the story on where current bags have gone. If you would like to know, they are the answers and they are the reasons why. This guy, yeah, I don't know. We just, listen, I'm, I'm happy. I think I've just got to give it a go. That's the thing. I think I might want to apple guard it and just give it a go and see what I think. Let me know your thoughts below, but damn, it can hold a lot, girl. So that is it, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed this, please give me a thumbs up. If you liked hearing, you know, where items have gone and what's gone on and what's going through my head, 
give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already and you wish to do so, there is a button below, guys. I would super appreciate that. I will see you in my next video. Take care. Peace. <laughs>